up guys, it's Ed from Taxaris and welcome back to another PC build here on the channel. Today we're actually going to be doing a high-end gaming PC for a subscriber of mine. He reached out and he's like, hey Ed, can you build me a sexy looking gaming PC? I'm like, you came to the right place, of course. So today actually we're going to be doing a black and gray slash silver build. And he's a huge fan of Batman, so we're going to do a Batman themed build. So let's go over some parts here, but before that, a quick message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Udemy. It's a website that offers over 50,000 courses in pretty much anything you can think of. You can learn about drawing, editing videos in Premiere, or even learning about investing into cryptocurrency. One of the courses I've been checking out is the strategy, design, and development created by Joe Natoli. And in this course, he talks a lot about UX and goes over design, content, and coding. Udemy is not only a great place to learn new skills, but it's also a great place to educate yourself on a new profession that makes money. For example, cryptocurrency, investing in stocks, real estate, and more. Right now, everything on the website is on sale for a limited time, so be sure to check it out by clicking on the link below. Alright, so let's take a look at a few of the parts. Let's start off with the CPU. This is the 7800X. This is a 6-core processor. He's going to be using the PC mostly for gaming. Uh, and if he ever needs to do any productivity stuff later down the line, edit videos or stream, then this processor will cover it because it does have six cores, 12 threads, and it's unlocked. So we're going to overclock the crap out of it. And this is, this is a very solid processor. The motherboard we're going with is the Asus Strix X299 XE. We also got a bunch of parts from Corsair. We got the HX850 power supply and their new H150i cooler. This is actually the 360 millimeter radiator which I've never used before. So this is actually the first time and I'm pretty excited. Uh, we do have a buttload of fans. We got some 120s, we got some 140s. They are RGB, of course. And we're gonna be hooking them up with the Commander Pro. And last but not least, we're gonna to top it off, where is it? With some RGB strips from them as well. For storage, we're gonna be hooking up two 960 Pro M.2s in RAID 0. Um, I honestly told him this was overkill, but he didn't listen to me. He picked up two terabytes each, so four terabytes total in RAID 0. And as you can see, there's no hard drive, there's no other SSD. So those are pretty much the main uh, storage device for the PC. Some accessories we picked up, um, we got the AIO sleeving kit. We're gonna be wrapping this around the ugly black cable from the cooler. And this is the backplate we're gonna be using. I completely forgot about the GPU guys. We're using the Titan XP. This is their new version. Uh, it's the fastest XP out there, and it's, it's the newest version. Uh, but yeah, take a look at this backplate. It's sick. It's black with a mirrored finish in the center, and the same style goes for all the fan grills. I got some 120 and I got some 140 millimeter fan grills. Again, it's all black with the nice mirrored accent in the center, so it's gonna look really nice, and that's gonna be reflecting off some of the parts inside the build, which I think it's gonna look really, really sick. And um, I did pick up some paint also. I don't know if I'm gonna be custom painting some parts of the case, maybe, but I picked it up just in case. And of course the case we're gonna be using is the Fantex Eclipse P400. It pretty much fits the color scheme of the build. It's got a nice tempered glass side panel and it's all black with some silver accents. And last but not least, I did print out some uh, custom tech source stickers, which I might put in the build. Obviously I'm gonna try and put it in a place where it's not gonna affect the color scheme. And he said that he wants me to sign the PC once I'm done building it, so. Yeah, those will be the final, absolute final touches. But anyways, with that said, let's start building the PC. Go ahead and take out the motherboard first, pop in the CPU and the RAM sticks. All right, let's get cracking. Uh, again, guys, I do want to emphasize that all these parts were picked up by him and sent to me. For some reason, when I was announcing that I do subscriber builds, people were assuming I was doing it for free or I was buying the parts. That is not the case, guys. You have to unfortunately buy the parts and send it over. Or in his case, give me the money and I purchase the parts and uh, have it delivered here and then have it built. There is one part that he is actually using from his old PC and those are the RAM sticks. We got 32 gigs. I think these are uh, 3400 megahertz Corsair Dominator Platinum, so. Uh, yeah, these are pretty expensive, so I'm glad he's actually using some parts of his old PC for the new one. Let's pop this beast in the socket. That is the wrong way, Mr. Texors. There we go. 
Lever one, lever two, this is not popping off. Sometimes it does not do that. All right, CPU is in place. Uh, let us do the RAM sticks next. This dude has eight freaking sticks. So we're gonna occupy all eight RAM slots, which honestly looks a lot better than just putting in four. All right, looking sexy already. By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, we're actually officially filming in our office. So that's probably why you can see colorful walls in the background. That's the kind of the point of our um, recording studio. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section about a new, about a, about a new, about our new recording studio. But yeah, we're still waiting on carpet actually, because as you guys can probably hear, we still have some echo going on, some reverb. But once we do have the rug set up, it's gonna sound crisp. All right. This is the H150i Pro from Corsair. I've actually never used this before, so. Boom, 360 millimeters of goodness. Let's pop this thing out. All right, so. Uh, we're not going to be using the stock fans, of course. We do have amazing RGB fans from Corsair. This is the triple pack, so we're going to be popping in three, these three fans in here. All right, so there is a minor complication. Um, so it's going to require some effort to put in the 360 millimeter radiator in the case because, for starters, there's this plate over here which actually acts as an extension for the radiators. So when I went ahead and removed this, we come in contact with the hard drive cage, as you guys can see. So if I were to put in the radiator in this way, it's pretty much being blocked. So it's kind of weird how they have this in the first place, because if the hard drive is gonna be here blocking the radiator, then what's the point of putting this in here? So luckily he's not gonna be using an SSD or any hard drives. So what I can do is I can take this out as well. So let's pop these screws out. Let's get this one out of here too. And I think we should be good after this. Keyword, I think. All right, I think there's something holding it from the bottom. Yep, there is. There are two extra screws down here. Let's get these out of here. So much work just to take off this freaking rack. Are you serious right now? But at least it's out. Now we can continue putting on the radiator. All right, so, I mean, at least now we have clearance. That's, that's definitely a good start. All right, so ladies and germs, we have installed the 360 millimeter radiator. It actually fit perfectly. I think there's about, about an, like half an inch of clearance from the top. So perfect fit. I'm glad that the that Fantex included an expansion bay for the radiator. So otherwise it wouldn't have fit. So awesome job, you guys. Great work there. Um, what's next? I guess we can put in the motherboard. So let's go ahead and slide that in here. What I'm thinking about doing is since Corsair sent us three extra fans, I think we can just put these in the back of the radiator and just do a push and pull configuration. So that way I'll have an excuse to use these bad boys. And then we still have two other boxes of 140 millimeter radiators from radiators. What am I even smoking on? I must be smoking on something good. Uh, two more boxes or two boxes of the 140 millimeter fans. Jesus Christ. Okay. So yeah, so two 140s will go on the top here. Unfortunately, I don't have an extra 120 for the back here, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing for that. All right, all the fans are inside. So I think what I'm gonna do now is hook up the fan grills. And there's two ways you guys can do that, in case you're wondering how, I, how you install these. All right, so option number one is you can actually use fan screws and screw them inside a fan from the outside. That's only if there is no uh, fan screw sticking out. Now, if you look on this one over here, as you guys can see, obviously I used the radiator mounting screws 
and you cannot obviously mount the fan wheel this way because the screw hole is already occupied. So in this case, what you can do, you can use the included magnets that come with your fan grills. Uh, so they include a bunch of them. Uh, and basically this is what it looks like for each individual one. It's got a piece of 3M tape hooked up on it. So all you have to do is peel it off and stick the sticky side against the fan grill. So I just put it over like this and just pretty much tap on it until it sticks on. So there you have it. Now, because these are all magnets, obviously it's gonna hook up straight to the screws when you bring it close. So as you guys can hear that, pretty much just snaps in place. So that's the beauty of um, these fan grills and how easy it is to install them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just basically put the fan grills on the rest of the fans and I'll be right back. Okay, so before we install the motherboard inside the case, let's hook up both of these bad boys. Two terabytes each, guys. 960 Pro M.2 SSDs, totaling four terabytes of just pure goodness. So, okay, so this Asus motherboard actually has this shield over here. It's kind of like an armor thing. So we're gonna have to actually pop this open first. I think it's just a, a layer of protection. I don't know. I don't know if it actually does anything for cooling, to be honest, but it does look pretty cool. And it covers those, uh, the nasty, you know, label on the M.2. There is only one M.2 slot. What the heck? Where are we gonna put the second one? Did I not look into this? I mean, this is a pretty high-end board from Asus. I would imagine it has two M.2 slots. Okay, this might be a problem. No, there is no extra slide in the back. Sometimes motherboards have that. Okay. Uh, okay, so obviously one goes here. So the other one has to be so... Am, am I blind? Like it has to be somewhere on here, right? Is it going to there maybe? That looks familiar. Let me see. What? This looks stupid. Nah, that's so fake, bro. What? Okay, that looks... I'm sorry, that looks stupid. Is that how you connect M.2s now? Surely Asus can figure out another place to put it that looks aesthetically pleasing. That actually makes sense now what this stupid cover is for. How does this even... Oh my God. What? <laughs> what? Ladies and gentlemen, PC building in 2018. That is what <laughs> your PC looks like. What the heck? This is, this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. All right, the first one for sure is staying there. So let's just put the cover back on because that is going nowhere. Yeah, let's get the cables real quick. Of course, you guys know me. I gotta go with the best of the best. I've been using cable mod cables for the past, I think like three or four builds now. Absolutely love them. Let's uh, see which one the CPU cable is. All right, we definitely need a single four pin so far. Let's drag this out. So I got the four pin hooked up. Let's do the uh, eight pin next. Beautiful. So that's there. The only other cables I need to hook up are the CPU fans. There's a lot of fan cables. Oh Lord, cable management is going to be a pain. Look at all these cables. These are just from the fans, guys. We have six, seven, eight, nine fans in this case. Look at this. If this doesn't give you nightmares, I don't know what the hell does. But you get cable management, part of the tech source package. So yeah, that's gonna, it's gonna take a while. All right, so we got an update to 
the build. Uh, the motherboard is finally inside the case. Unfortunately, I had to swap out the 140 millimeter fans and we had to put in two 120 millimeter fans. Otherwise the cables, there was no space for the cables to get routed towards the back. Uh, we still don't have clearance for, or enough clearance for the fan grill. So unfortunately I had to leave those off, but at least things are moving now. So I think that's all that matters. All right, time to juice up the system. All right, let's actually hook up the cables first before plug it in. Speaking of building guys, I need to ask you guys a question. If you prefer this style of building PCs or do you prefer the OG time-lapse style videos where I just basically build a PC with music in the background compared to the conversation type where I'm talking while building. So let me know in the comment section your feedback and I'll be reading the comments guys just to see what your thoughts are and what you prefer watching. Perfect. All right. Time for the big boy. Honestly, if I had the time, if uh, the person gave me like maybe two or three extra days to work on the PC, I would have completely taken apart this GPU and painted it gray, which I think would have looked really sick. But I mean, black still goes in with the color scheme, so it's not a big deal. Personally, I would have painted it. All right, slap this bad boy in here. Ooh, that felt good. Ladies and gentlemen, the climax of the build literally is this, the back plate. Oh my God, that looks sick. Yeah, the reflection of the ramp sticks on there. That looks sick, guys, not gonna lie. And that's pretty much what the build is gonna look like. I'm gonna obviously hook up the cables later on. I'm gonna work on some cable management in the back, but I'm loving the way it looks so far. It's, it's a very clean build, black, gray, silver accents with some white on there. Uh, but like I said guys, if it was up to me and I had extra time, I would take off this PSU cover and the PCI brackets in the back and paint those gray, which I think would look really, really nice with the build. But so far, I'm very happy with the, uh, the progress. Like I said, I'm working on some cable management and I'll see you guys very soon to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, welcome. It is late night around 1.49 a.m. Cable management was a bees working on this PC, but nonetheless, everything's hooked up, ready to go. Will it turn on? That is the million dollar question. I hope it doesn't um, fail like my first build. In case you guys missed that one, check it out. So, flipping over to switch, guys. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh God, I hope it works. So, uh, there are at least three fans <laughs> that aren't spinning. <laughs> Why? I mean, it looks like it's working. Sounds like, oh! Oh, thank the lords, thank the lords. Thank the PC lords. So, uh, I wanna show you guys how stupid I am. Come here, Bob, come here. So, this whole commander Pro unit, as obviously all the fans are hooked up to it. This is what powers the fans. And what powers this whole unit is a SATA power cable. Well, I hooked it up, obviously, as you can tell, but this entire set of cables is connected to thin air. Normally at this time, I would say that it's been a long day, but this, this is no excuse. How did I not connect this to the power supply? <laughs> Oh, geez. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna fast forward to the B-roll. I hope you guys enjoy this dope montage. But that's the build, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. It is 
it's looking very clean. I think I did a pretty good job. Um, like I said, I would custom paint a few things if I had more time, but for what it is, it's one hell of a beast PC. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Congratulations on your PC if you're watching. And uh, if you guys enjoy this type of content, as always, drop a like to show your support. I love your faces, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.